I wrote my book on sodium bicarbonate. The original title was Rich Man's Poor Man's Treatment for Cancer. And I do promote it. I recommend all cancer patients take all bicarbonate. The most recent research from the Ludwig Cancer Center in the United States shows, talks about that <clears throat> bicarbonate, when it penetrates into tumors and cancer cells, turns back the circadian rhythm of the cancer cells, which they shut off so they can eat 24 hours a day. Cancer cells love to eat. The circadian rhythm of the cells, normal healthy cells, is like 12 hours on, 12 hours off, 12 hours activity eating, 12 hours rest. When you turn it off, cancer cells can gorge 24-7. Bicarbonate turns the clock back on, beginning the starvation of cancer cells. That's a pretty neat trick. The question is what diseases can you treat with bicarbonate? And the answer is all. Every human being, when they're sick, including children, will benefit. And the older you get, the more deficient we become in bicarbonate because the pancreas needs to make it, the stomach needs to make it to neutralize hydrochloric acid. The pancreas makes it when the food comes out of the stomach, it's acidic, so it needs to be neutralized, and the kidneys need to produce a lot of bicarbonate to keep the blood stable. Our ability to do that declines with age. So the older you are, just as an anti-aging agent, but almost every disease implies a, a, an acidic condition where the body moves into a situation which is low in oxygen and low on cell voltage. pH in physics is a measurement of voltage. The difference between being alkaline and acidic is the difference between oxygen, concentra oxygen concentration in the fluids. The more alkaline, the higher the oxygen level because it's OH, oxygen, hydrogen. As you move further and further into acidic, there's less OH and just H, H plus, an ion. The further you move to the acidic, oxygen just gets crushed out. So you have low oxygen conditions and low cell voltage. Of course, our cells are more vulnerable to infection. The weaker they are, the lower their voltage. And of course, pathogens love low oxygen conditions. So today, <clears throat> living in a world where people are breathing too fast, exposed, as everybody who lives in a city, and it doesn't even matter where you live today, we're all exposed to higher levels of toxicity in the air and the water. So bicarbonate, is a first line of defense, and it's the least expensive line of defense.